welcome back to my channel and welcome to another weekly update. We are finally up to date. It is week 22 of my weight loss journey. My name is Marcia. I'm 53 years old. I live in North Yorkshire in the UK and I am on Munjara. And oh my goodness, like what a journey it has been. So if you think I'm in the same clothes as my last update, then yes, I am because I'm literally, I've just filmed them back to back because I really want to get caught up and I want these updates to be with you in a real timely manner. So yeah, this update is from being weighed in Two days ago on Tuesday, the 22nd of October was my weigh-in day. So yeah, I hope you really enjoy my update. So if you are new, please do consider subscribing. There is a little button there. It's free. I would love you to join me here and all of my lovely little YouTube family. Um, I never thought I would ever say those words, but I do feel like we are a family. Um, you're all absolutely amazing. So I have got a couple of playlists. I just say this to you every time um, just to remind you in case you don't know. Um, I have got a GLP Diaries which is my weekly updates which is what I'm doing like right now with the weight loss, looking at the nutrition and looking at the sort of the breakdown from my Renfo scales. So if you quite like sort of figures and things and that's the one for you. But then they also have monthly updates in there, which is more about non-scale victories, trying on clothes, doing body measurements, helping to stay motivated to see those physical changes, um, mental changes, all those things. And maybe sometimes the scales don't move just how we want them to. It's more than just a number on the scales. So those are so good. And I do know, I think that's um, a favourite of lots of yours. Month five update will be coming later this week. So stay tuned, hang fire. We'll be trying on the clothes, getting the belt out, getting the tape measure out, um, comparing some photos. So it should be a really good video. If you are returning, thank you as always for all of your support. Um, I really would struggle to do this journey without you. You help me stay accountable on the day to day. Um, my other playlist I haven't told you about, talking about you keeping me accountable, is I do post daily vlogs. So I post every single day here on my channel. I have got another playlist called my weight loss and fitness journey. And in there, I've got all of my daily vlogs as well as my weekly monthly updates. And I've got videos going back years, like before Munjara. So yeah, and there's lots of stuff in there. Please just have a mooch about my channel. I film loads of types of videos really. So hopefully you find it interesting and entertaining and informative and supportive. It's a really happy place to be here. So yeah, I love it. Right then, let me tell you, um, so it's been another good week actually. I'm, I'm really excited to be filming this one now. It's a bit more present and up to date. So this week, um, we are looking from, so the week runs from, um, so my last weigh was on Tuesday, the 15th of October. So we're running, my week's kind of run Tuesday through to Monday evening, then I'll weigh in on a Tuesday morning. So it's going from Tuesday, the 15th. Um, I had my 7.5 milligram pen on Monday, the 14th. So last Monday, so I'm back onto my Monday injections. Managed to get it back there by just tweaking it, tweaking it, tweaking it after my holidays. So yeah, back to where I know and feel comfortable with. So yeah, I had my final 7.5 milligram injection on the Monday. Um, and so over this past week, um, it's taken us up to weigh-in day of Tuesday the 22nd of October. Now the eagle-eyed of you will notice on my Renfo scales the date says the 23rd because for whatever reason it didn't the first time ever my weight didn't log and register on my app and I didn't check it I just assumed it was there um, and I was just starting to prep my video and things having a little look through to make sure everything was in place and it wasn't there so I weighed in on the Wednesday the following morning I didn't want to weigh in in the evening in case it was like heavier <laughs> so I, I just I, I re-weighed on the Wednesday morning it was just the same weight anyway so I'm pretty sure all the rest of the statistics should just be the same so yeah that was just a little bit of um a disclaimer just letting you know about that so let me tell you about the start of my journey so yeah um, my very first injection was on May the 21st this year. My starting weight was 13 stone, 12.8 pounds, um, 194.8 pounds, 88.36 kilos. And my BMI was 32.4. 
um i've had an absolutely fantastic journey actually um i'll quickly tell you about my weeks i did i've done did one pen of 2.5 milligrams i've done another pen at five milligrams and i've done three pens on 7.5 milligrams it looks like an awful lot of numbers there but that's kind of like where we are at um in the early days i did take a couple of the extra doses but i just don't do that anymore now i stick to my four doses from the pen discard the remaining liquid you do you it's absolutely fine um so that's where we're at so yeah this was my last week on 7.5 milligrams and i will be moving up to 10 milligrams next week so that is exciting to see how that goes so let me have a little look here so i like to tell you side effects let me think so again this week so the headaches have gone now so they've settled down again because i've had quite a few headaches last week so yeah no real headaches however i have been suffering with terrible terrible insomnia um as to point like maybe having like about three hours sleep a night three to four hours of sleep um i'm sort of typically still awake at three in the morning four in the morning which is just <laughs> it's dire so that's really sad situation to be in so yeah i've um i've struggled with my sleep in which case then it can just make you feel a little bit sluggish the next day but i normally i generally sort of perk up quite well um bowels have been fine I've, oh i've had some heartburn this week as well which is new really i think i had about three days on the trot of heartburn so much i took a couple of rennies and then on the third day it actually what kept me awake at night um and so i actually had um an omeprazole and that did the trick and since then it's been absolutely fine i've had no more heartburn so whether i'd eaten something or what i'm not quite sure but anyway it has gone and settled so that's really good Um, it's still got a little bit of tingly skin sort of around the sort of hip buttock area um and, and nothing else really um everything else has been fine so that is good to report so let's have a little look at um my nutrition for the week so i've written down and um, i like to do my averages i use the nutri check app and um so every day i log all of my foods and um, i'm pretty diligent at it actually i do do my best and it's not so much that i want to track calories but it's more the fact that i want to make sure i'm eating enough and obviously i don't want to be malnourished i don't want to be harming my metabolic health so i set my target at 1500 calories and i'm really pleased to say that this week i have averaged over the past seven days 1424 calories um so i think that is really really good so over 1400 calories a day average i am honestly delighted especially when you think at the start of a journey i'd be struggling to hit 800 so i've worked so hard at increasing now i won't lie i have definitely been hungrier this week so i think the decision to move up dose has been the right one and um so yeah i mean i'm just trying to look here as well from the going past yeah, it was like a full week which is um so yeah i think i'm ready to to, to move up because before that the couple of weeks before it'd be like five days between my injections because i was catching up my days and that kind of kept um like any sort of food noise and hunger at bay i mean i get full you know i do get full when i've eaten and sometimes i can't eat all of my portions um, so that is good but I was definitely like when it got to mealtimes sometimes I'd be like ravenous like so so hungry so yeah I'm really excited to see what 10 milligrams is going to be like albeit slightly anxious because it seems like I've been on 7.5 milligrams for ages so it's just moving up dose is just playing in the back of my mind a little bit but I'm sure I'll be absolutely fine so yeah my calories 1424 and um, my protein um, I averaged at 78.9 grams of protein. Obviously, I'm getting smaller, you know, I'm weighing less. So I've divided my protein by my body weight in kilograms. And that brings me out to 1.13 grams of protein per kilo, which is absolutely brilliant. I've managed to increase that up from last week um because last week's my, my protein was 1.05 grams per kilo. So yeah, my protein levels have picked up a bit it was a very carb heavy week <laughs> this week i had um 162 
grams average of carbs and I like to try and hit about 150 but you know it's I think sometimes if you really fancy something to eat it's absolutely fine to do that um real life moving forwards that after Manjari and after your weight loss it's about having things that you fancy in moderation and going with it and as you can see my calories have been fine but it's just that I've been a little bit carb heavy um this week but it's just how it rolls my fiber is marginally better at 16.1 grams um needs improvement <laughs> it's like the same old story same old story but um yeah never mind about that um so that's that bit isn't it so shall we get on to my weight um i've got my Duda here <laughs> my tablet and what I'm going to do I'll do screen recording so then we can share that information together now this week I actually haven't looked through the um the figures on my Renfo scales I just checked to see that they were there but I've not looked to see if anything's improved or you know, or whatever so that for me is the real thing so we will fly through it focusing a bit more on the bits that I'm really pleased about um but I'll show all the screens for you but we won't talk in in length about them because often I'm just saying the same thing over and over again <laughs> surprise surprise um let me just check on here is there anything else I want to tell you about no so um let me just get this screen recording going here okay so that's us recording so this week is so exciting for a couple of reasons and the first one is because I am in a brand new stone bracket and this I have not been in this bracket I don't think for I honestly can't remember um maybe 10 years maybe um oh no 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 I was no, not quite 10 years, because I was definitely this on my, when I was, um, when I went away on my silver anniversary, and that was, yeah, so, um, maybe like eight years or something like that. But anyway, da, 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 I am 10 stone, 13.2 pounds. I have made it under 11 stone. I am so happy. Let me tell you that in other numbers, just in case you don't go by our British stones. <laughs> so yeah, I'm 10 stone, 13.2 pounds, which means so I've lost one pound this week. Um, and considering I've had such a lot of carbs, and I'm really happy with that, actually. I'm really happy. Um, so that means I'm 153.2 pounds. I am 69.5 kilos. And my BMI is 25.5. I am so close to um, getting within that healthy BMI. It's like, oh, it's so exciting. The uh, total amounts lost since the start of my journey. I've just written it down here, so I've got it in different places. So altogether, I've lost two stone, 13.6 pounds. So I'm like 0.4 of a pound away from three stone off since like the end of May. I'm really happy about that. Um, so that's in five months. Um, so that's what I've lost nearly three stone in five months. So that's 41.6 pounds down, 18.9 kilos. And I have now lost 21.4% of my starting weight. <laughs> what? Oh, it's just like, I am honestly so happy. All my clothes are huge. I need to go clothes shopping. Um, I'm just, what a great problem to have. I'm so happy. Right, let's get back to these scales. So yeah, as you can see, that is my weight loss there. Um... Um, my body fat is says is thirty five point two percent. Um, scrolling down here, we can just have a little look at the body composition very quickly. Um, so it's got like my weight, BMI, body fat, skeletal muscle, fat free mass, subcutaneous fat, visceral fat, ooh, body water, muscle mass, bone mass, protein, BMR, metabolic age. So. At first glances, I think my visceral fat has gone down another one, which is amazing, absolutely amazing. Obviously, last week, my metabolic age came down, which was really good. So, yeah, we'll have a little look at that on the graph in a minute. But everything is just is starting to go green. Look at all those boxes with green on now. So I've got, out of all of the things, I've got one, two, three, four, five, 
six of the things there are green. Um, I'm really happy. I feel like I'm going to sneeze. Hang on. I'm sorry, I just had a massive sneezing fit. Um, so looking at this, if we click on... Now, how am I going to be doing this? What am I doing again? Um, so here you can see my body weight. So it says now I'm 75% of the way to my target. I've, I've mentioned this before. I've set my target at 10 stone. It's a very loose target. Um, I may well be happier before then. I'm going to just see how this next pen goes. And then we'll just play it by ear from there. But yeah, my little milestones are nearly all coloured in. Um, body fat just makes me cross. <laughs> is doing his own thing oh whatever but um let's move on back here and then let's have a little look again at this body composition so it does do the little bits here um we've got what we've got so we've got tells you what your the body is protein body fat bone mass um let's have a look Sorry, I'm not even speaking in proper sentences. I'm so excited. <laughs> so my weight is just above <laughs> BMI, just above. <laughs> Body fat is still up at that end, far too high. But <sighs> um, skeletal muscle, it still says, is low. Fat-free mass is just what it is. Subcutaneous fat, it still says, is high. Visceral fat is average, <laughs> but it's on the lower side now of average. Um, oh, I'm so close to being properly hydrated. I'm nearly there. Um, muscle mass is in between average and high, so I'm really happy with that one. Um, bone mass is on average to high. Protein is average. Basal metabolic rate is in the middle, 13.45 for my calories. Um, so yeah, I'm happy with that one. Metabolic age of 56. Yeah, so that is good. Glenn's just made, jumped in front of the window. He's just, made, <laughs> he's such an idiot. Hang on, I'm just going to pause you whilst I tell him off. <laughs> Actually, I won't. He'll, just, he'll know. He'll be quiet when he comes in. He made me jump on my skin. What an idiot. Okay, so let's have a little look at the trends. We'll set it to the three month trend thing. It just makes it a little bit easier to see there so looking at my weight so the average weekly rate is coming down at 1.6 pounds nice downward um graph there bmi is coming down as well average of 0.3 my body fat is coming down at 0.2 percent um muscle mass is is crept up slightly fat free mass is obviously coming down um, subcutaneous fat is coming down as well so we are getting there bit by bit and um, the visceral fat yes i have definitely dropped one and um, so it started off my visceral fat was 14 and it is now eight and um this obviously i say it all the time this is a massive massive deal and um, by reducing your visceral fat you're reducing your risks um later on of all these like um obesity related illnesses and things you know are the risk factors for heart attacks for all these other problems that are going on so yeah reducing that is fantastic my hydration continues to increase he is so noisy glenn <laughs> let me shut this door he's like this toilet's flushing chris packets rustling he's so noisy <laughs> um my muscle mass um it says is reducing off but i mean i think with any weight loss journey you you're gonna lose a little bit of muscle but um but overall um as you saw i've got good levels of muscle in my body so i'm obviously happy with that bone mass is fine protein is is doing okay basal metabolic rate it's just a wiggly jiggly line and tip but um again as we saw the little um gra little line it's doing fine for that one and my metabolic age has remained the same as last week um is that everything we need to look at on this little piece i think it is let me just share with you here um on my new to check just so you can see how my weight has come down it's just really nice to see and the good thing with the NutriCheck as well you can change it um for like your different and um, ways of measuring so i've got like my stones there which is 
tells you how much you've lost so far, left to lose. And you've got your little awards at the bottom. It's quite cute. Um, and then you can switch it up to pounds and switch it up to kilos. So that's quite nice. So there's just the information there for all of you that are interested in that. And then you can also see BMI and how it's come down. Um, you can also put your measurements in here. Maybe because I'm using like the Remeasure app, which is quite good, but maybe I can transfer some of that data into this as well. Um, if any of you are interested in the NutriCheck app, I have got, I can share you a link where you can get 30 days um, free trial, I believe. So yeah, if you want that, just um, drop me a comment down below and I'll share you a link um, and that's absolutely fine. Um, but yeah, that is absolutely everything. I'll pop a little screenshot in here of the My Fitness Pal. Let me just turn this off, guys. Sorry. Of My Fitness Pal, and it just shows you um, like a lovely little graph and also the body weight percentage that I've lost since the start of my journey. But that's everything. Um, I felt like we're kind of flying through these now. I'm getting a bit. We're getting a bit speedier. We're not lingering quite so long. Hopefully it's been fine for you. Let me know if there's anything you'd like me to include that I don't already. But I feel fairly happy now with this format. I feel like we're, we're kind of on with it. And I'm really happy that I'm finally up to date. So I'm not chasing my tail with my weekly updates anymore. Thank you so much for bearing with me over the last sort of two, three weeks whilst I got properly caught up. I honestly appreciate it. I know it can be a little bit frustrating when you're trying to follow like my journey and you don't know quite where I am. But also, it's not just that, it's just for the comments. It's nice for me to have your comments in like my relevant weeks, you know. So if there's any suggestions, if I've got anything, then I'm able to respond to that as well or say, oh yeah, I've done this, I've done that. Oh, that really helped that you suggested. So it's just a little bit more interactive by being... Um, more on time and I think from now on moving forward I'm going to do my very best to probably get it filmed that same day I think I just need to make it it's like literally like 20 minutes half an hour out my day and um, obviously got the editing afterwards but once it's filmed I can sit with a cup of tea feet up and then um, just insert the little bits of information that we need to see but yeah thank you as always um obviously I this weigh-in was on the Tuesday. On the Monday, before the day before, I did have my first 10 milligram injection. So make sure you come back for next week's update to see how that has gone. Um, any new side effects, how if it's affected my appetite or anything, how my calories have been increasing a dose, and if it's um change my weight loss kind of thing how it's been going so yeah come back we'll see how it goes then but take care i hope you're all having a fantastic journey this week i hope everything's going really well for you do keep me updated in the comments i love reading your stories as well about what's going on with you all so thanks for all the love support kindness and everything else i do love you all dearly take care have an amazing week see you soon Mwah. bye for now